Welcome back to uh, Universal Studios Hollywood. In this video, I'm gonna discuss what could be next for, Super, uh, for Universal Studios Hollywood. Again, this is based on speculation and rumors and keywords. Rumor doesn't mean it's fact. Things could always also change. So, these are just rumors, not actual factual statements, and speculation. Again, not actual factual statements. So, you can take it with a grain of salt, you can take it with a whole bunch of salt. I don't know, but let's have some fun and speculate what can come next to Universal Studios Hollywood. So, the mummy just got an awesome new paint job, which is already, uh, you know, getting dirty, as you can see. Um, rumor, I, th I think we, they needed to install some rails on this building as well for the OSHA safety concerns, which prompted the paint job. But rumor has it, or spe yeah, rumor has it that this will be closing in 2023. Now, John Murdy said he's designing another house for this particular section. Um, and yes, that is true, because the rumor has it that this will be closing in late November or December of 2023, so the very, very end of 2023, after War Nights is over, and after this house will be demolished. Um, so, I'll be watching for that. Again, plans can always change, and, uh, or, you know, rumor cannot be true, but again, it's a rumor. So, rumor has it that this will be taking, or this Donkey Kong will be taking this area from this here, this here, and this here. This, this plot of land could be Donkey Kong Country. The connection to, to Super Nintendo World, I'm not entirely sure. That's why I was thinking Donkey Kong Country would be better off on those sound stages for it to come, for it for it to come to Super or Hollywood because you know it'll be right behind Nintendo. But rumor has it's here, here, and here. I heard another rumor thing about monsters, a monsters attraction coming. Uh, doesn't seem likely, unfortunately. But uh, I've only heard that heard that from a couple of people but I've heard Donkey Kong from a lot of people so Donkey Kong potentially will be taking Mummy and these two sound stages spot in December or Mummy plays in December potentially 2023 Donkey Kong opening in 2025 or 2026 another big one here is the Simpsons land in Springfield again with Disney owning this IP many are wondering when it will leave, not a matter, and many are saying it's a matter of if and not, in a matter of when and not if. Even the casual fans are like, wait a second, Simpsons, uh, Disney owns Simpsons now. Why is this here? So, the theme, rumor has the theme park contract ends in 2028, but also rumor has it that the Simpsons IP, maybe not the building, but the IP in Springfield will be rethemed or starting to be rethemed in 2024. Simpsons is rumored to close in 2024. Not sure when, but 2024. And it's very interesting, and not saying it's a confirmation or anything, but for the Fast and Furious concept art that we saw here, you saw this section of Springfield already rethemed to generic buildings. This section of Springfield was already was in the Fast and Furious concept art, but they didn't say that it wasn't the Duff Beer Garden or anything like that. It was just generic buildings. Now, it was kind of blurry, so maybe it was there, but they just kind of, you know, blurred it out because it was not important to Fast and Furious. But very curious if they if they do retheme those buildings. I could Fast Furious room to open in 2024, so um, this it could lead some for some some you know some credible evidence of Simpsons maybe closing in 2024 as well. Again, not the building does. It's rumored also have structural ear issues, so I'm not sure if they're gonna demolish the building in 2024 if it leaves, or they'll maybe they'll retheme it. Yes, yeah, so we'll watch for the Simpsons to potentially leave in 2024. Now, this rumor I'm not too sure about, specifically the first part of it, because you know this was just put here, but some speculations out there that Jupiter's claim will be moving by the quarter four of 2023 but again it was just placed on the studio tour lot so i'm not sure it'll be moving that fast uh i do like that addition and falls lake would be used that and falls lake would be used for theme park expansion i'm not sure when but that's just uh what the room has um 
I'm not sure where they put Schubert's claim. But yeah, just um, kind of watch for that. Um, I put those other rumors a little higher on the list than Jupiter's Claim moving. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice to enjoy Jupiter's Claim right now. And we'll see at the end of next year if it does stay in the same spot or if it does move. And if that in Falls Lake is, will be used for theme park expansion down the line in the future. While we're here though, look at the brand new sound stages. Again, all the sound stages on property are like in the process of process of being converted to this awesome new color this black and white color scheme I really like it um, fantastic so yeah watch for Troopers claim and Falls Lake for potential theme park expansion down the line in the future but right now let's go talk about that Fast and Furious coaster that's coming that's more likely to come much much sooner than any of stuff over here enjoy your last sections on the special or the shows on special effects and animal actor shows remember had the last shows for these guys will be on january 8th or 9th as a permit has been filed for the uh, fast and, or uh, coaster rumored to be themed to fast and furious they'll have a c-shaped spike and a couple launches over the escalator this is rumored to start construction again in january 2023 and right after this closes they'll be demolishing these two buildings and building the coaster for a rumored opening maybe in 2024 uh it doesn't seem to be too heavily themed and it's using the mountain as it's kind of like a terrain coaster on um, the concept art and so it shouldn't take with not too much theming it shouldn't take too long to build and open uh so yeah i say this can open in 2024 and yeah but catch your last shows this is already running seasonal only on weekends all the way through the end of the year and i expect this last show again to be january 8th or 9th same with animal actors over here a few rumors and speculation have born coming to the park and one of those rumors slash speculation has it coming in the backstage area behind this gate starting in uh, starting 2024 with the opening in 2026 and born or any show should come here because if we do lose those two shows and matches and special effects which in my opinion especially special effects we can lose definitely universal will need another show uh, preferably an indoor show to replace it on hot and cold days and born would be perfect because it has such great reviews out in florida and one of the rumor locations is right here um but it could be up a lot lower a lot um but we watch we're watching we watch that again 2024 opening in 2026 is what the rumor slash speculation has that right now we'll out. lastly i've speculated of course that a hotel will be coming to the park by 2028 for the olympics and the prime software is right here in this parking lot, right next to the globe. There's been several proposals already for a hotel throughout the past decade. It just never got the green light. Even concept art has been released. But yes, a new Universal Hotel hopefully will be here by 2028 because that's when the Olympics happen will be happening. And it'll be a provide a front row doorstep to the park, which would be absolutely amazing. Well guys, what did you think? What do you think of that speculation video? Are you excited for what could be next for the park for the next decade or so? What do you want? If you can armchair imagine here, what would you want to come to the park? What do you want gone from the park? What IPs do you want to come in? And how would you shape out the 10 year plan for Universal Studios Hollywood? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. If you liked the video, press that thumbs up. Check out some merchandise. I have my own merchandise at themeparkwizard.shop down below. Everything in the whole store is 20% off. I even have some holiday merchandise, some jackets, mugs, and more. So check that out in the merch shelf or on themeparkwizard.shop. Get 20% off the entire store. Check that out as well. As always, have a fantastic day.